Virginians could buy recreational marijuana over the counter starting in 2024 if a bill in the General Assembly passes. But Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie Fusco found out retail sales have a hazy path forward in a politically divided government. She joins us tonight with the latest. Today, a Senate panel approving a bill that would allow medical cannabis providers to start selling recreational marijuana to adult customers starting in January of 2024. But first, those providers would have to enter into five franchise agreements with applicants from economically disadvantaged communities who could launch storefronts at that same time. Cannabis is legal to possess in Virginia. And we want people to have a way to buy a safe, regulated product. And if it's going to be sold, it should be taxed. Bill sponsor Senator Adam Eben says other hopefuls would have to wait until July of 2024 to enter into the retail market. An approach Senator Jeremy McPike fears is unfair. I'd still have somewhat of the same concern in terms of uh, establishing market dominance very early in the, in the process that will disadvantage others. The question of giving certain groups a leg up in a budding industry also appears to be a main sticking point for House Republicans who have rejected previous efforts to move forward with a regulated market. Delegate Glenn Davis says many GOP lawmakers would support it, but that largely depends on how Democrats approach the concept of social equity, a priority for the Black Caucus. I can't support the provision inside the bill that gives those that were convicted of marijuana crimes in the past first access to all the licenses. Evans says those provisions have been removed from this year's bill in an effort to win bipartisan support. But some key House Republicans are still looking for guidance from Governor Glenn Youngkin, who pivoted earlier this week when we asked if he would support compromise legislation. The bill I am tracking and looking for is a bill that deals with hemp and Delta 8. Right now, we have products that are being mislabeled, missold, and targeted towards children. But some Democrats argue that these unsafe hemp derived products are largely proliferating because there is no regulated market for recreational marijuana, even though it's legal to possess right now in Virginia. We'll be tracking all of these bills as the 2023 session continues. Reporting at the Capitol, I'm Jackie DeFusco.